If you're stuck in the lowest elo of Premier, which is around 1,000 to 5,000 Premier rating, I'm going to give you guys the best tip that will help you guys improve, and that is the 10 second bomb timer. If you guys go into your settings, into audio, and if you scroll all the way down, you're going to see all of these little sound settings that you can adjust, and there's a 10 second warning volume. This sound is going to tell you when you have 10 seconds left when you plant the bomb. So if I were to plant the bomb on the site right here, what would happen is when there's 10 seconds left before it blows up, the sound would start to tick now this can help you a lot if you are either trying to ninja defuse or maybe you're trying to do a really late retake you need to have a good idea of when the bomb is going to defuse so even if you don't have a music kit you still have the ability to hear the sound and it's just going to keep on ticking down and then once there is 10 seconds you have a good idea of how much time you have left in the retake or how much time you have left to defend the bomb because sometimes people do really really late retakes and as you can hear now, the 10 second music is on. So I know that there is 10 seconds left and it's slowly decreasing. And having this is a good idea if you do notice that you don't really know when the bomb is going to explode or how long you have on retake. So that is definitely a good recommendation if you are in the lower elos. Now, if you guys are stuck in the lower elo, I heard if you actually like this video, you guys are guaranteed 5,000 elo in Premier. So make sure you guys do like the video. But now let's talk about 5,000 to 10,000 Premier rating. I see a lot of times in Premier where people don't really understand the economy and how to manage it well. The advice that I can give to you guys is to just buy a Kevlar vest when you know they are full buying because an AK is an instant headshot to the head, even if you have head armor. So it's very important that you don't waste this extra money. But one thing to keep in mind is that you guys need to understand the T's economy and you need to know when you need to buy head armor. Because if I am over on the T side and we are eco, obviously I can buy a Tech 9 or a P250 and just instantly dome anyone in the head. And that would be really bad, especially if you are on a full buy. I mean, imagine you're just sitting here in window and someone swings with a P250 and just one taps you because you didn't understand understand the economy. So one thing that you guys can do is just try to understand what the buys are. It's usually two buys. If, if they lose two buys, then they will have to save or they will have to force. So it's just very important that you guys do keep that in mind, but make sure you guys are abusing just buying Kevlar when you know they are buying because you're going to be saving a lot more money and you can actually buy a few extra grenades if you do need some, depending on where you're playing. So just make sure you guys are keeping track of the economy. Don't buy head armor all the time. Only buy it when you need it. Now for 10,000 to 15,000 per mirror, rating if you guys are struggling to win i really recommend that you guys check out the sponsor of this video if you guys want some cool skins like i have in my inventory because we all know skins equal wins today's sponsor is skins monkey skins monkey is a cs2 skins trading site and marketplace that provides an instant way to get new skins my favorite thing about skins monkey is that i can trade skins that i no longer want and trade it for a skin that is equal value if you use code louis cs2 you get a five dollar bonus on your first trade if you want to buy skins, you can get a 30% deposit bonus plus an extra 5% using my code. The link is down in the description. So once you guys have some cool skins in your inventory like I do right here, let's talk about what you guys can improve at the 10,000 to 15,000 premier rating. And one thing is understanding the economy, kind of like what I talked about in the previous tip, but this one is a little bit more specific because we want to keep track of our loss bonus that would be in our scoreboard. We also want to keep track of how much money we would have next round. A lot of Counter-Strike players don't realize that they updated this thing in game, which is pretty much what they got from Valorant, where we can see how much money we have next round. And also in the scoreboard, which mine doesn't show, you can actually see your loss bonus for how much you get the next round. So most of the time, what you guys need to understand is there is four different loss bonuses that you can get on the CT and T side. And when you have only one loss bonus and you have below $2,000, it is okay to force buy. So if you are in spawn, either on CT or T side, it's okay to buy, you know, a P250 and armor, and then maybe a smoke and a flash if you need to, because next round, you're going to have to save no matter what, because you're only going to have around $3,500, which won't get you a good full buy. So you might as well just save let your loss bonus stack up and then you just full save the next round and then all of a sudden you have a really good buy round i see a lot of people not understanding when to force or maybe they force too much but it's very easy to keep track when you can by just seeing how much money you have next round either you're on the t side or the ct side so you no longer have to sit there and calculate it and look at your money down here and then look at your loss bonus you can literally just open up your buy menu at the start of the round and once you guys start really doing this and understanding it you're going to understand the economy and you're also going to understand the other team's economy as well because you're sitting here trying 
trying to do the math in your head and then well, you'll kind of get used to how everything works and then it will just stick to you now once you get to 15 to 20k in premiere you pretty much understand the economy you understand how to aim you understand how to move you definitely know the fundamentals but it's important to understand what you're doing in the game i see a lot of people just buying the most random guns ever like if i switch over to the ct side i see a lot of people they just buy an mp9 and they'll play be playing around ticket or maybe around triple which doesn't make sense at all because you have an smg which is a close range gun so maybe you save a gun from a bonus round or maybe you don't have a lot of money because you decided to force maybe you bought a hero gun and tried to win the round for your team and you're forced with an mp9 this is a gun that you want to take close duels either you want to play you know maybe under balk or top balk towards the a site or maybe you want a teammate to flash you into ramp it's very important that you understand the gun that you have and how to use it same thing goes on the t side if you want to buy a mac 10 you definitely want to try to take the closest duels possible if i have a mac 10 chances are i'm not going to be swinging out mid unless i have a lot of smokes and a lot of flashes that can get me towards connector so then i can take these close range duels so it's very important that you guys really understand what gun you have and how you can make the most of it because like i said earlier there's a lot of times where people just don't understand what they're doing they'll buy an mp9 and go towards a window and then they're going to be mad because they didn't get a kill since they literally can't just kill someone from window to top mid with an mp9 so one thing that you could do if you do have one is you could go towards underpass and sit all the way at this close angle play anti if you wanted or maybe just keep swiveling to make sure they don't flash you could ask your teammates to flash over connector a bunch so you can push top mid and take these close duels there's so many options that you can do with certain guns there's even times where maybe for some reason you saved and now you have zero money because they killed you after the round and you can only buy a 5.7 this is the same thing with mp9 you want to make sure that you're taking these close range duels where you're getting close into ramp or maybe you're just sitting close into palace trying to get this easy kill it's just very important that you understand what gun you have and know how to use it and once you really understand this you're going to notice that your average kills will probably go up because you're able to abuse what weapon you have in your arsenal now once you're at the 20,000 to 25,000 premiere rating you're actually pretty high up on the leaderboard at this point and you really understand the game to a level where you can be a top player in premiere now obviously there is a big difference between face it and premiere but this is still a pretty high rank in the scene i would say you're probably top five to one percent of the world so it's very important that you really start to focus on your game and how you can improve and be a lot better and one thing you can do is bind grenades i see a lot of people sit here and just scroll nades like this trying to choose whatever grenade they need to use and it's such a waste of time so for me i have my grenades bounded where my molly is z my c is my smoke my v is my flash and my four is my he grenade if i quick switch back you'll see it goes to my he and these are binds that you really need to have because let's say that you're maybe a cap player and they're starting to come out a and they're already scaling about this area like maybe towards default it's very important that i can just click my v key which is my flash bind and just flash over bench for my teammate because imagine if i'm sitting here trying to run to rotate while trying to flash and i'm sitting here and i miss the flash while i'm scrolling through my nades that's only going to screw over my teammate and it's not going going to help him at all so i want to make sure that i can help him as fast as possible so instead of me sitting here scrolling and say oh i missed my flash now i'm flashing and he's dead it's just as easy as finding a good comfortable bind coming around hitting my key and throwing the flash this is good for a lot of situations as well because let's say you're sitting on triple and maybe you have a smoke you want to throw a disrupted smoke or a defensive smoke when they're starting to come out a let's say i spot them and i'm trying to scroll as fast as i can to my smoke and then i miss it then all of a sudden i'm just like fumbling my nades trying to figure out like oh you know i got look and see at the bottom trying to see what nade i'm trying to click oh no i miss it i'm looking and then all of a sudden i'm dead we don't want to be in that type of situation we want to maximize the situation that we're in so if i do see them coming out ramp i would just hit my c key i could throw a smoke to my left like this and then boom all of a sudden i'm safe i have teammates flashing for me i can fight i can go through the bench smoke with my teammate through jungle while i'm coming through here and we can just kill them all coming out ramp so i really recommend that you guys do find some comfortable nade binds now that there's no jump throw you could replace them with those or you could even have them on on your side mouse buttons i know steel has his flash on his middle mouse button so if you don't know any good binds for that i would really recommend looking at some configs or you can just go ahead and look at mine down in the description now once you're at the top of the top which is 25k through 30k premiere rating this is literally the top 0.1 percent of the world and you're probably a face at level 10 player so if you didn't make it this far in the video i really salute you for making it that far and congratulations as well but let's talk about what you need to know when you do make it this far far and one thing that i really did notice
even up in face at level 10 is that people don't understand rotations and what i mean by that for example is let's say i am on the t side and we want to take mid so what we do is we smoke instant window and then we smoke top mid now what this is going to do is it's going to make players move on the map the reason it's going to make a move is because they obviously have lost vision of mid and a lot of players don't really understand what this means now the person that will probably rotate is the window player who most likely will have an op and he's either going to rotate out of rat hole or he's going to rotate here and hold palace and a lot of people don't understand this especially if you do hear the op shoot towards window we want to find out where he's going to go and it's actually very easy to tell just off of basic sound cues and rotations like let's say we hear the op shoot towards window and then we wait you know a little bit or a while and we start taking connector down bottom mid and there's a rifle in connector we now know the window player is probably in spawn or he's over here towards b holding b apps and a lot of people like i said don't understand the rotations of how people move another good example is if we take mid and then all of a sudden we smoke off connector as well the con player has to go somewhere else because it's very tricky for this guy to just stick around here and look at a smoke so it probably means that they're going to activate somewhere where they want to take palace or ramp and a lot of the times like people won't understand this at all people will just be walking up palace just cluelessly and all of a sudden this ct is just going to peek them trying to get info and kill them easily and then all of a sudden our mid control just doesn't even matter because these guys have just taken half of our a space so it's most likely that we're gonna end b which means now the opera is probably gonna rotate towards b and they're gonna be stacked towards b now these are all little you know certain scenarios that can happen but sometimes they won't happen but in the top one percent you just need to understand how players move and you're going to really notice that once you understand how they are moving you'll start to read the game a lot better and one way to really understand rotations is you need to realize what that position is seeing like if we smoke off cat for example in my head i'm thinking okay how can the cat player get active into this round and one thing that these guys can't do he's probably not going to stay towards cat and instead he's probably going to push upper b with his app teammate just because that smoke makes the cat player useless and they need some sort of information so if you just sit there and kind of think of you know what is this player seeing when i throw this smoke how is he going to move to be more useful into the round and then you will really be the top 0.1 percent of the world so hopefully those tips did help you they're not the most common tips about aim and movement i decided to kind of branch out a little bit to help you guys and open your mind so if you did think i forgot anything make sure you guys comment that down below make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel and i appreciate you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out